A drilling company in Susquehanna County is responding to the State Department of, of Environmental Protection's claim that the company is contaminating the drinking water. Newswatch Exchange Trish Hartman spent the afternoon in Dimmick. She's live in our newsroom now with more. Trish? Paul, the head of the DEP says he is prepared to sue Cabot Oil and Gas for the cost of a new five and a half mile water main. A Cabot spokesperson says the line isn't needed to fix the water problems. Ron Teal is happy to say goodbye to this water tank. He's been using it for his drinking water while his well was reconditioned. pH levels meant the water was unsafe to drink. In the meantime, Teal says Cabot Oil and Gas paid for the work to fix the well and the drinking water. Everything is back to normal. The water seems good. Uh, we put a couple of filters on, Cabot did, and everything is working great right now. It's been like a month and everything's fine. This week, Secretary John Hanger sent a letter to residents of Dimmick claiming the Cabot Oil and Gas has not taken responsibility for contaminating the drinking water. Part of it reads, Cabot is responsible for the gas migration that has caused families to be without a permanent water supply for nearly two years, and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania will seek court orders to make Cabot pay for all costs. The DEP wants to construct a five and a half mile water main from Montrose to Dimmick to bring drinking water to residents. Hanger wants Cabot to foot the bill, an estimated $12 million. Cabot officials say the water main is not necessary. The secretary chooses his words to say that we deny there's a problem. There's no denying that there are individual situations that need to be addressed, and we're working hard at addressing those. Char Myrick had elevated levels of methane in her water and says she's not sure why. She shows us the water filtration system provided by Cabot. From the time I tested the water and found out that I had problems with it till now, it's been less than a year. So I can't, I can't complain about that. And based on recent testing, Cabot officials say four water wells in Dimmick show high methane levels. While Cabot representatives say they don't believe drilling operations cause the water problems, they say they are still willing to come up with solutions. Trish Hartman, Newswatch 16, live in the newsroom. Thank you, Trish.